before we get into that conversation, I see your messages coming in. We have somebody, ah, Livingstone. It's been a while, Mr. Livingstone. And he says, I am excited to be watching The Great Conversation this Wednesday evening right here in Nairobi. Hashtag Wellness Wednesday. I just love how invested he is in the show. And then he goes to say, Hapo Konarufe and Euphorian returning together. Komentiangu ni fupikua. The chains of love are usually weak. Uh, to be fe too weak to be felt until they are too strong to be broken. Okay. Damn, poetry. Okay, Shakespeare. Okay. We also have Darcy tuned in saying, hello, hello, girls, sending love. We receive the love, Darcy. Thank you very much. And somebody <coughs> else who said, show ecolit, but didn't leave a name. Damn, someone says, hey, girls, looking yum, yum today. Never advise a girl in the love lesson learned. Some are just, some just want attention to get sympathy from followers. Kathomi Sport, t sorry, Kathomi Sport, mm -hmm. telling her good luck. It's congratulations on your journey to more suffering. And this is Lola. Just let them go. It, it is what it is. They, they, they've made their bed. Let them lie in it. Now, when you sometimes, it makes sense what one attack ku. Say Diana. Yeah. Someone else, uh, this is Hatense saying, tuned in for the tea. Last week I ghosted you, girl. Where were you? Where were you? Where were you? But um, I was tuned in as always. The vibe is 100% sending love. Shakila and Vera's beef, ni weevu too. No, not, there's no enough reason for this beef. Mm. Honestly, yeah, that's what I think. And a lot of people actually are um, echoing the same sentiments that uh, Shakila just wants to be Vera so bad, and Vera is. I don't know why why she's getting herself involved actually. Yeah, why, just why ignore she, her. Why is she getting involved? Mm. It's, it's uh, very strange. But here we are. Yeah, and on to the conversation today on Wellness Wednesday. It's the topic of is it private or are you being hidden? You know, is it private or is it a secret? And more so, why people keep their relationships private and don't post their partners. And let me justify this. There's this thing that happens in the universe where you're enjoying your relationship. It's a new relationship. You're enjoying it. Things are wonderful. Things are good. And then you tell somebody about it and the next day you're crying. I don't know what happens in the universe. Or you post them, hashtag, man crush money. And then somebody comes to you as a woman. <coughs> so there's, there's usually the debate of are you keeping it private or are you actually hiding it and it's a secret and also why uh, do you think it's not a good idea to post your partner on social media mm -hmm. do you have any sentiments on that um a personal mm -hmm. i don't know um i think uh, what's the, what's the one personally i don't i don't i don't mind it depends on how early on in the relationship you are. For me, that's it. That's the determining factor. Mm. How far in the relationship are you? <clears throat> Where are you in the relationship? Y'all just bumping uglies. Are you trying to post that man? Mm. Leave him alone. Leave him in the dusties along with the rest of the other DM the strugglers. Mm -hmm. Are you guys in a two-year relationship and are moved in together? you kind of end up having his face popping up anyway so mm. it's okay to do that are you in a are you engaged that's a whole other thing why are you not trying to tell people you're engaged let mm. people be happy for you or sad or mad whatever but you are not on a whole other level are you married why are you hiding this man can you post him mm. however the bigger issue is also are they willing to be posted and why are they unwilling to be posted mm -hmm. if so so I think it's one of those conversations for me where if it's you who is the problem, explain to us why. Mm. And if you don't want to post him, it's okay. If they don't want to be posted, it's also okay unless they have hidden agendas, okay? It's very complicated. Mm. And the thing with me is when I love, I love you so much. I want the whole world to know that I love you. You are mine. You are my husband. But, you know, that comes with the downside of if by chance or if something happens and new people broke up you've involved so many people now people on the internet were, mm -hmm. you know were even given you given giving you pet names mm -hmm. and everything so now that you've involved the public sometimes you feel like you owe the public an explanation for why you're no longer posting this person and we've seen it a lot in, in celebrity couples after they break up they issue a statement uh, this morning we saw brown mauzo 
issuing a statement and calling for the public to give them privacy and grace as they go through this tough situation. But that's the thing. If we were just doing it private, we're not hiding it. We're just being private about what we're doing. Example, um, Issa Rae and her husband. I did not know she had a whole husband, but she's been so private about her love life that nobody knows what's going on. They're good. They're living life. If anything was to happen, we wouldn't know. It would not affect us. So I think that's one you know, upside of keeping your relationship private. It gets to be just the two of you without the comments and Every, every person having an opinion about your relationship. Yeah, and I think, as you said, it's, a re, she, it's not like she's hiding him because mm -hmm. their wedding was very well broadcasted. They put their pictures, very beautiful pictures, on social media, and we we're all just gushing at her. Mm -hmm. And then she took him right out of the internet. Y'all better chill. Y'all better leave her alone. Mm. Um, I think, honestly, if you are planning on having a relationship that's pri public or private, also think about the fact that you do get spared of opinions, mm. especially unsolicited opinions. I swear to God, you don't know your man has a flat head until you put him on the internet. Yeah. You do not know you have a mole at the bottom of your nose until you put it on the internet. The internet has an ability to make something so beautiful, so ugly, so fast. Have you ever been with someone and then you posted them on social media and then suddenly you're like, why am I even with this person? Like, they've mm. just been made ugly so fast. Unanza kwambua as long as you're happy, chao me. My friend, let me tell you, this internet is not a nice place. It's not, an, it's not your grandmother's playground, mm. all right? So it's very important for you to also understand that, yes, you, you, you know, you love the person how they are and all of these things, but the moment you start to get very sad feedback we've also seen people who've posted that themselves taking care of their children and the husband is sleeping and suddenly the whole internet is like why is that man sleeping why isn't he helping why isn't he why isn't he why isn't he but we didn't see the things that transpired just before that post like we don't know your lives we are only seeing what you are showing us and therefore we'll start making you think like your man is a deadbeat guy mm. and or your woman is a deadbeat girl and here you are now changing your whole lifestyle because you've been told they're useless and yet we don't know your life mm. We are not in the privacy of your home. We can't tell what goes on in there. And once a relationship is public, and by public I mean to the point where you guys do YouTube videos together, mm. please, if you fall in love with somebody, resist the urge to become a YouTube couple because it's so unnecessary. Gosh. And I feel like the every pressure. time mm -mm. I open my social media, I just see this couple together. They're doing the whole life together on the internet for us to see. But when with that comes the pressure of always having to be perfect. We've seen this um, uh, TikTok uh, families, I, I, the name slips me. These people, the pressure to be perfect, the pressure to be online and have this, you know, it's unrealistic lifestyle just to support the idea of a perfect household, please. If you do not need that pressure of social media, just keep it private. Mm -hmm. keep, actually, why did he not bring you a thousand roses today? Now your man has to always anticipate bringing you a thousand roses. Before he opens the door, he has to take out the camera to film as he's going inside to sub. It's a lot. It really that. is. And it's also that it takes away that intimacy. Because honestly, Personally, I do a lot of things. I do a lot of fun, cute things that can be so annoying to anyone who sees it. But I prefer to keep them inside. I don't... Do I have to announce every time I get roses? Do I have to tell people? Mm -hmm. Do I have to announce constantly that, you know, this beautiful thing has happened to me? Or I, we, we did this cute thing together? No. Why? Because the moment you start to put these things um, as, as expectations people are always expecting to see them online. Guess what? Now every single moment you're documenting. You, mm -hmm. Every time, everything is now you have to take a picture. It takes away that intimacy of just you guys hanging out as yourselves. It takes away that beauty of like, you know, being surprised by stuff like that. Because he's over there buying the flowers, taking a picture, taking these to my baby. By the time they get to the house, you're already, you're already well aware there are flowers coming. So this intimacy that exists in, um, in relationships that is non, 
invaded because of all the pressure to constantly post mm -hmm. is really, really beautiful. I think, honestly, keep your relationships to yourselves. Yeah, and also it's easier to break up. We had mentioned that earlier. Mm. Mukiwachana, nobody knows. No one has an opinion. No one is speculating. And that's that. And I think that's all of them. Uh, there, there's so many, but okay. Mm. Um, there is... Uh, this one where they say private dating can also stop people from have who don't have good intentions regarding a relationship from influencing it. Mm. Anyway, yeah. So if people don't care about you or they have hidden agendas, pseudo accounts <laughs> so that they can they can tell you smack about yourself. You think they would open a pseudo account to make your relationship uh, influence and your your DMs za your 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 boyfriend, your husband, mm -hmm. our husband. Mm -hmm. Hey, why people are our mad. husband. Telling People them are stuff. mad. Hey, hmm? it's crazy. It's Send crazy. me money also. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, you've seen a lot. Our husband. Our